Get in. We're in front of us. I'm XQ, joined by Agrid. Still rocking it on the phone, I see, buddy. I am still in an Echo Cave and mm. on a minuscule screen, yes. On the upside, you look really beautiful compared to normal. Yeah, yeah, I'm told that it, it's given me 20 years, you know. Yeah, I, yeah. I hope it'll be 20 years, you know. I'm younger than I was when um, Star Citizen started being made. Mm. The pic who knew pixels give you give you wrinkles? I don't know. I never heard that one. Yeah, okay. So. Right. So we had a, a really good time here on the Aussie servers last night. Um, someone here in Australia discovered that um, at DefenseCon, all the ships for AIE were rentable. Um, and so basically all over the Australian uh, test server or PU, people were trying out all the ships for, for CitizenCon. And I got in and managed to record them all. But not only that, I managed to get the Firebird as rentable. So we got the Firebird to check out kind of in-game and then like a couple of videos mm -hmm. of um the nurser and the mpuv uh 1t to look at i didn't get a chance to look at the polaris yet but if we do get to have a look at that it's about 20 minutes away for the rotation if it r rotates as as we're recording this and if we do have that pop up um me and our grid will record that and we'll and, have and, at that too. And, and, but... and chuck it on the end of the video um but other than that, let's kick it off in the game and have a look at the Firebird. Now, I had to fly away from Artcorp because it was really laggy. Um, but yeah. And, and you didn't want to turn the clouds off, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, so you can see it's kind of body-wise a, a hybrid between the Sabre and the Raven. Um, you know, wings filled in like the Sabre, but still that diamond shape of the yeah. uh the raven but you know obviously uh wings from the saber so it's a mix of the two yeah, yeah. um and, and it does it, it looks and i went when when i saw it in the hangar my first my first thought was it mm. looked stealthy yeah uh whether that's just me mm. um um yeah it, or... it doesn't turn too well but it does fly pretty well in a straight line um but it's unique feature is these missiles our grid of which if you go back in you can actually queue up six at once um and fire all six at once but the thing that was really interesting to me and something that i really want to point out to everyone if i can get this to work uh, camera wise is all the missiles are actually at this weird angle they're they're firing yeah. down at like a 45 degrees um, and it's really evident, okay, I've just rotated into the sun, is when you fire them, because watch this. That is clearly firing down at an angle. Um, it's very different than anything else I've seen. Have you seen anything that kind of fires down at an angle like that, Algrid? Only the turret of a ground attack vehicle. Yeah. yeah. So I'm kind of thinking it's somewhere between an eclipse and a fighter now it does list it as a medium fighter or stealth fighter depending on whether you go to the asol mm -hmm. terminal it says stealth and the the little tablet thing at the actual um convention center says medium fighter um but it's also looks like it might even have something on the top here our grid so i'm wondering if this is some kind of radar or something like that and you combine it with those angled missiles and it might be something for attacking ground targets both stationary Yep. and on the move like vehicles now with base building coming that kind of makes a lot of sense to me because we're not going to have anything to take that out and currently we don't have anything really targeted at vehicles either do we specifically it, 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 well like i said it's a ground uh, oh, i'm saying it was a ground attack vehicle yeah uh it makes sense uh it fits with it fits with being unique mm. um it's certainly different yeah um i'm not sure it really fits that desire that people have for the reason so that's the um yeah i think i i think that's what they're trying to capitalize on there's the fact that people wanted a raven but they had to have a unique body because of part of what the intel thing is so it is a unique yeah. enough um i kind of look at this next to the normal saber and i can see it does have a place like a ta if it is what you and i think it is which is that tactical ground attacker because it's not a bomber right yeah, and no. um it's size three's missiles and i did have the name of them and they are a missile that's already in game i just have completely yeah. eluded me at the moment um so, size three missiles that's, that's pretty that's not bad you've got what 16 of them is it or 12 uh 12 so and you can fire six at, yeah two salvos of six or individual over thing so again that's not bad if, if you're doing ground attack yep uh it does it does fit i think the stable is a medium fighter anyway which makes sense for yep. the the designation of being a medium fighter 
Uh, being a stealth rider, again, I can see that as being something you'd want to use for approaching the base, but is it actually a ground attack for a fire? And I, can't, I, I don't know. But it looks like it might be. Yeah, well, at the moment, um, I. I didn't. I stupidly didn't take a photo of it, but um, it literally talks about it being a, ver a versatile and attacking many. This is the little tablet thing at the the convention hall. Um, attacking, it's good for multiple targets. It doesn't say anything about ground, nothing about air, yep. anything like that. But there's just something unique about those angled missiles that it, it's hard to um, think what else and that could be for. Yeah, and it's certainly it's certainly not a torpedo bomb. No. Um, because, you know, size, I think they said ages ago that missiles are basically size one to four, size five up is basically torpedoes. Yeah. And so it's not a torpedo bomber. Mm. Um, and so at that angle with missiles, you, you tend to think it's the only thing that really rings true for me is ground attack. Mm. Um, the question I've got in terms of, is it the shape of the sabre that people like? Therefore, do you why see the do you Raven, see or is it the fact that it was EMPs? So, and so hang, hang on, hang on, Agro. You're not going to be able to see this bug, but it literally says R A V N O two, and that, because I haven't done the LODs properly yet, and then as you zoom in, it changes to Fire O two. So it literally <laughs> is a Raven re reskin, um, and that's why it's got that door. I'm wondering if that was the compromise they had to make them angled because it was using the R Raven's EMP bay. I wonder if that that's why uh, it is instead of just putting them into the wings or something like that like if it was a another fighter if, if i recall correctly on the other right on the sabers mm. uh that emp bay on the raven replaces the missile bay of, of the saber mm. okay and the difference was the sabers had size four missile racks and so you could have two size four missiles mm. in there uh, the Raven took two em two EMPs. This is this is up in the ante. So you've got yeah. you've got a lot more missiles than you would if you put them if you put size three missile if you could mm -hmm. put size three missile racks or size three missiles in the in the regular saber. Mm -hmm. um, so that could be part of it. The way the way you've got yeah. to store your missiles. So if it is just uh, an, another fighter, our grid. I think it's a bit of a swing and miss for me again. Like it's just we've got so many fighters. It's not funny. It's it, th this thing stick is almost like the Talon Strike, and the Talon Strike is a light fighter versus a medium fighter. So it's just the a different class of the same thing, like a missile gunboat type of thing. But yeah. if it is a ground kind of tactical attacker, I can see a place for that. Well, it, it, a strategic it, bomber essentially is kind of what it, or a sit, you, you know. You could use your because of the the types of missiles that are on the um, mm. Mustang Delta and the Shrike, they could be used for ground attack because they're dumbfire yeah. missiles. Yep. Yeah. Well, these if aren't dumbfire. Has... These aren't dumbfire. These are I locked know. on. Yeah. Let me finish. Let me finish. Because this has targeted missiles, that actually raises that up even higher if it is in that ground attack mm. role. So it becomes a better ship for that role. Mm. It's a heavier ship. So again, it just makes sense. Mm. Um, I still wonder whether the call for Raven is for another saber, or the fact that people want that EPM ship, EMP ship. Yeah, I, I, I think it's storage, and I, I think it's more the EMP aspect that people yeah, want. Yeah. Um, and then if it's if they can't release the Raven as the Raven because of the contract mm. with the, you know the promotion with Intel. One way to do that, I imagine, may be to do, say, put it on another ship such such as the Buccaneer. Yeah. And I think a Buccaneer with EMPs mm. and, and something similar would probably do that, would probably suit the, suit the bill. Mm. And it wouldn't be out of, I don't think it'd be out of the wheelhouse for, for Drake, given they've got the Herald, which is an infra run. Mm. So, yeah, something to think about. So, thought, that's where my thought process goes with that, but yeah. Yeah, let me and Algrid know what you think in the comments below about this one, because to me, if it's just another fighter, meh. But if it's if it's literally something ever so slightly different, like a, a tactical ground missile shooter, I don't want to call it a bomber because it's not technically no. bombs. But you know, you know something tailored for taking out ground targets. Yeah, something. So, well, again, technically it is a fighter. It's just not attacking other ships. It's attacking ground targets. So it is technically still yep. a fighter. It just 
I would have called it ground stealth fighter or, or, or you know, rather than stealth fighter, I would have called it a ground attack fighter or something like that, you know. Yeah, well, um, you know. And and I could see a ground attack fighter you're wanting it to have stealth so they can actually get closer yeah. to the targets um mm. for that role. So it's a type I could see mm. it being the type of craft you'd send in to take out those high you know, those those mm. not the not the targets you'd want to hit out with the torpedo, but the vehicles, the ballistas, the mm. uh the radar stations, the ground um gun emplacements you know that mm. those little things whereas you want your torpedoes to take out the, the larger targets yeah uh, it makes sense mm. but yeah anyway, all right all right so next on the rack. yeah next on the rack i've got some videos here so this is the video I, i've got two videos of the medical um or the nurse the medical nurse. so this is yeah. um it defaultly comes in red the other colors that we've seen is a a dark blue a teal and a black so if you can kind of visualize those, yeah. So here we go. So I've got two videos. One's just like a quick walkthrough and the other's kind of like a more detailed walkthrough. So Okay, yep. Yeah. So if you want me to stop it, just let me know. But I'll stop it on the other one because it's a bit more detailed. So this is just real quick yep. to kind of give you an idea of what it is. You know, heads on the side and two yep. lights. And I and, and then I kinda of realized, oh, I probably missed some things, it was a bit quick there. So I kinda of went back and So the first thing I, I have for that mm -hmm. is does it still have guns? Because I, I yeah. on, on the screen that I've got, because I'm on yeah. the phone, I can't actually. Yeah. I can't so it's still it, it's still got guns, and it is a medivac or me medical evacuation. Yeah. So it still kind of needs that gun. I was talking to someone. I was saying, why doesn't why don't they put a tractor beam or some kind of search and rescue thing? And, and that person was a military person, and they said no because it's a evac vehicle, so it is technically going to combat zones. So that's yeah. why. Yeah. No, it make, that makes sense. So. Um, the back section just to me looks like the exact interior for Pisces, um, with the one bed and, and the medical cabinet on the side. Yep. Um, and, and I think Pisces, when they brought out the Pisces, that was pretty much what we, you, Paul, and I, I were saying. You know, you yep. could easily do that to a. a All right. So here's the answer. more here's the more detailed one that will show that it is there are some yep. slight differences between that and the Pisces. So this is where I would go through the components, right? So this is very similar to yep. the Lynx and the Ursa. Um, just finding the buttons here. Yeah. Um, one thing I'd noticed that was updated that I'll show you in a second is the goo battery terminal in the healing terminal. That's where I go next here. Mm -hmm. That's in as well. Um, and then I'll turn around in a second. Right, the bed. Um, still got the gun rack as well, which yeah. I which just moved down. And then the next one, this is where it separates from the Pisces, I think, um, is it's actually got room for three people. So essentially yeah. you've got this seat like the Pisces does, but it's also got the, so now I'm about to turn and go into here, you've got the cockpit yeah. and, and a co-pilot. So it's three people, not two, like on the Pisces. So yeah. you've got that dedicated combat co-pilot. So that yeah. does so change got, the focus the quite a bit. Can be manning the turret. You've got yeah. a medic who's been sitting in the back, and you've got your pilot who's going to be driving around. Yeah. And, I, and I just noticed here, I might have missed this. Hang on. I just skipped back, and it goes back 10 seconds. There's no way to... I don't know if that... I don't, I don't think there's a door there anymore. Am I wrong there? That looks like shelving or something. I could be wrong. Or or maybe it is the door. It was one thing. Oh, no, no, it is a door. Cause uh, was, it must be a door, because in the first a, video, you walk through the door. It, it, it is the door. Yeah, I just realized. Yeah, this is technically a different Ursa, by the way. Good, good spotting. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, that that's that's the Ursa. Um, it's, it's as you said, it is very akin to the Pisces. And the other bit of information we got today, Agrid, that I sent to you that I should have had yep. this queued up, but I don't have it queued up. It was the fact that they're looking at change because 3.23 is going to be pretty brutal. They're making point, it so that point one, point one, that all beds will be able to regenerate. Mm -hmm. uh, so the tier three beds will be able to do uh, twenty kilometer range. Yeah. So they're changing. And they're beds, ch they're changing it to distance essentially. Is yeah. The part, yeah. And the tier two beds will do fifty kilometer range, mm -hmm. uh, which means greater range for your Carrick and your um, mm -hmm. eight ninety. But it also means that the Ursa, the Cutlass Red. Mm. The Pisces will all be able to do regeneration, and I think that's going to yeah. give. If if that's something they keep in permanently, mm. that is massive for those for those small ships. Yeah, it um, does. It does bring up the question of the timing, though. I've had a few people ask me about this. Do 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 I think they're doing it for um, 
Invictus to sell more Ursas and stuff like that. So it's like, eh, are, are they, you know, so I, I wonder. I, I wonder whether they're, both, but I know that they always plan some form of range to be in mm. because they talked about the Endeavor when yeah. they were talking about the Endeavor, which is tier one beds. And they're saying, mm. if you were in range, you would be able to be spawn to the yeah. to the endeavor and then do stuff so there was clearly a range factor they were talking about mm. once you got the tier one bed being able to resurrect or or, or respawn mm. what's the difference between a tier two and a tier three bed mm. and i think i think they've started to go okay what's the gameplay we put in with mm. with these beds? what's the advantage and i think part of it might be that they're saying, mm. okay, they can all respawn, but you've got to be really, really close to be able to do that. Yeah, it de definitely gives a safety thing to the bigger ships being able to sit further back. So, Or not bigger ships, yeah. but the, the tier one bed sitting further back. And also you can re repair more serious injuries because you're, yeah. I don't know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting to see how it plays out. It's going out. to be an interesting one. Yeah. But it um, also means, like, I, as, as we're talking, as I was mm. am, uh, struggling my way home, <laughs> uh, part of it was that I thought of was, if you go anywhere with a, mm. a mission, like when we were doing the Xenos threat missions, how many ships did we see outside the outposts? Dozens. Yeah. yeah. Because people would go there, get killed, and they'd just reclaim mm. their ship and, and everything and start again. And so you had all these ships out there. If mm. you've got an Ursa or a Pisces that can you can respawn on. You mm. go to a mission with an Ursa in the back, you can respawn onto the Ursa and start again. You, you're not going to be leaving those ships abandoned mm. uh anywhere and so that's going to again just help clean up but just a naked a natural way of cleaning up the world so i, I can almost see that as being a, a part of the process so um will it will it remain this way that's that's a question that i have do they intend to keep it this way are they going to uh, wipe out that respawn capability on the tier three beds yeah I, I, um so so my my brain goes into two thoughts i don't think that would be received very well but the other part of it is i think they'll change it if they have to yeah so i think they're testing the water type of thing and yeah. i think i wonder if this leans into the bed logging stuff you know like where how they're saying they wanted it so you can get back in the action sooner um well, i i think for the uh, i think part of it might be that oh they certainly want to make it that everyone can get back into the combat sooner yeah. I don't know whether it's the bed logging stuff. I, 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 if it is, I really hate the idea. Right. Uh, and my, and the main reason I hate the idea is because it, to me, if, if every ship can just I log out and come back in, it almost feels like you're negating the value of of the larger ships having a bed, and you're out going to the solo fighter who just wants to have a fighter and go out and, and never have any problems or. Mm. going too far out and and I, I think that's a, a negative thing now i could just be not my rocker i could just be being a snowflake i mm. i could be pushing more of a survivalist game but to me that just seems yeah yeah it's uh, it's a tough one all right um so the last one i've got here Algrid, is i'll just pick this up mm -hmm. real quick is this is just a very simple one this is the um mpuv 1c um it's lagging without a cargo pod i see yeah it's lagging the video's lagging too yeah it doesn't like no. having star citizen open and the game at once um there we go now it's buffered a little bit it's playing better so yeah, yeah. so this is literally just the mpuv without its box at the back um a tractor beam on the head and a tractor beam at the tail or as i said to you earlier today it's just the one from the whole c video so it's essentially loading boxes, but I also think, Agra, this is a part of modularity. I'm almost expecting to see well, them selling three variants with master sets. You know, so you can I, I buy really this expect, and buy this and the and the two modules. Having seen that, and and based on that first video we had where we thought it looked like it was empty, I mm. think this clearly clearly sums that up. I always suspected that the MPUV, because it was used uh, by a lot of ships to help unload hull seas. Yeah. That the space that of that cargo pod was big enough for um, a 32 SVU container. Mm. Yeah, so I've always thought that uh, when you line up a, if you lined up an MPUV over those over those large containers, it always seemed like you could do that. Um, the difference, the problem was, we didn't have any any way to see that. 
uh, this to show that might be the case. I think the fact that we've tracked them on the back also enables you to actually track those things into that cargo, cargo capacity area. Mm. That will work putting on the target odds or the odds, the different odds that you use on an MPUV. Um, so that makes, again, that makes perfect sense for me. I track the beam on the front. I think it's a nice, if, while it's not the floor and the torch, I think it makes sense for something you needed to do going forward because of that. Yeah. We're not fully going for it. I don't know if you can see how much this is shaking when I try to turn our grid, but uh, yep. she don't like to turn. Yeah. Yep. I think I think one thing uh, going forward, if we're if we're doing gameplay, mm -hmm. then the game sounds off. <laughs> I uh, have <laughs> <laughs> got it turn. Uh, I've got. I know in the past people have complained about them. Oh, I've got it turned down. Uh, no. Quite low. So yeah. All right. Well. Um, oh, what's up? We'll take a little break here, and if if it uh, if we you'll see a different ending depending on what happens here. So I'm just going to stop recording yeah. right here. All right, uh, we weren't able to get the Polaris stuff at this time. We'll, if once we get that, we'll uh, bring it to you guys in a separate video. Um, I'd just like to th uh, thank everyone that went that extra mile on Patreon at the end of the video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Uh, with that, um, is there anything you want to add, Algrid? No, I would, I, I would like to know what people do think of the of those three. The, mm. the the Sabre, um, mm. Firebird, the Ursa, and the um, MPUV. The MPUV does, as you said, I think really herald modularity coming, and so that for me mm. is, is something huge. I think, yeah, what do you think? I, I think it'll speak to that a little bit too with the Retaliator coming on the same day as the Firebird too, because if we get something kind yeah. of modular for the MPUV, I think we can kind of assume they're going to do the same for the retaliator as well um Indeed. for me i think the question is is this another lackluster invictus i think it's better than last year but but it's a little bit the same i'm i, I could have i would have liked something a little bigger um but i also think it shows that they're moving a little bit away mm -hmm. from concepts um and more into stuff that they can tangibly put out and um for me i see these as all variants I don't see them as standalone ships because they said there was two variants and a standalone ship coming. And to me, they're all variants. Every single one of them is a variant of something that we already have. Um, so... I, I, yeah, I, I, uh, look, I, I yeah. think I, I, to me, they, they are all variants as well. Mm. Um, but I think while it might seem, again, while it might seem like luster to us, mm. to a new person, I think these are... I don't think it's necessarily yeah. a bad thing. And the fact that in 3.321, mm. uh, the med beds are going to be able to, re you know, yep. respawn you. Yep. Um, I don't, again, that, that really does appeal to new players. And Absolutely. you know that in Invictus and, and yep. beyond, yep. we'll be free flies. And, 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 and a few people did say that they reckon it's to sell more Ursas, but you got to also remember it affects the other ships we already have, the C8R, the Cubby Red. They all kind of get elevated up again. Yep. Um, so I think that speaks to new players coming in and they don't want them to have the divinity of trying to get back to where they need to go. It just means a veteran, a veteran player can take a medical ship and keep that new player well, alive, essentially. And... and Older players are not going to be taking their ships and mm. dying, and then going back and just yeah. respawning. You know, re reclaiming their ship and starting yeah. again. Yeah. So, so um, it'll get rid of some of that rubbish we see around as well. Yeah. So let me know in the comments below if you think that's kind of what they're going for with the medical. I don't think it's quite so. They sell. I think that's probably a, a side benefit of sending more med thing. I think they'll sell more medical well, ships in general because of this. I, if I anything, think, yeah. Yeah, that, that will cause them to sell more Pisces, it'll get them to yeah. sell more Reds, it'll get them to sell, you yeah. know, so, and the increased range of mm. the, the carrot will increase, the, you know, of its mm. bed will increase the value of it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And, it, it goes across the board, so. And, and I kind of agree yeah. with what you were saying a bit earlier, almost like a hole in one. Um, th these sales are really for new people. They're not for us veterans anymore, um, especially if you've got already got a big, bigger ship. You don't need those smaller ones. I think the only thing really there for us veterans at all now is Warbond CCUs and maybe some skins that pop up. That's about it. Warbond CCUs and possibly the Pulse, which mm. I think is a, a... I know it's not part of its video, but mm. I think it is a buying game, but it's certainly a ship that is a, applicable to yeah. any ship that's got a cargo. It's worth bringing up, though, because it will definitely be an LTI token, or the cheapest LTI token to pick up for this sale anyway. Mm. Um, so if there's a starter ship like um, a cutter or something like that, 
that's what you you if you're a veteran player out there and you're helping a new player get into the game make sure they pick up a pulse and upgrade into it it basically means all the starter ships can essentially have lti this sale it's, it's fantastic from that point of view yeah. um the only thing is you can't get a package with them so now you've got yeah. to pick and, between and that, yeah and that becomes a problem for yeah. a new player because i mm. do need to buy a game pack but yeah if i do yeah so mm. there's, right. there's lots there lots of meat but yeah tell yeah. us what you think are yeah. we crazy? Yeah. Are we drinking too much copium? Sorry, have we eaten too much copium? Yeah. All right, with that then, he's been our grid. He's been executed, and we're out of here. Take care. See you, citizens.